Are you ready for creepy urban legends from Arizona? Let's jump into my home state. Standing even before Arizona achieved statehood, the University of Arizona houses more than just students. With at least eight structures on campus that are haunted, these spirits are stuck in an endless hellish loop of homework deadlines. Old Main is the oldest building on campus and has the most well-known story. The ghost of a contractor was asleep on site one night when he happened to be stabbed through the neck. That's what she said. The university's only all-female dorm makes the list. Maricopa Hall lays on land that, originally in the late 1800s, hosted a deadly duel. In 1919, a woman who happened to be living there discovered her boyfriend cheating and unalived herself on the second floor. Like and follow for more, and get ready for creepy urban legends from Arizona. Let's get into my home state. Now this legend comes from the Superstition Mountains. In the 1840s, gold mines allegedly developed in the area by the Peralta family. I'm not saying they were gold diggers. Yes, I am. According to legend, their convoy home to Mexico was ambushed, and only one or two survived to tell the tale. The area was called the Massacre Grounds. Doesn't quite have the same ring as Camp Crystal Lake or Elm Street. The location of the mine became lost in obscurity. It wasn't until the 1870s that a man by the name of Jacob Waltz claimed to have found the mine in partnership with a Peralta descendant. Waltz moved to Phoenix before passing in 1891, and a female neighbor of his happened to be a caretaker up until his final days. He allegedly told her where the gold was hidden, but still, to this day, her nor anybody else has been able to find it. Like and follow for more, and get ready for creepy urban legends from Arizona. Let's take a look at my home state. Like many places in the Old West with violent histories, Tombstone is said to be one of the most haunted locations. Ooh, cowboy ghosts. I have been single for two. Jaywalking spirits are a big problem. From this guy who was shot in front of the Birdcage Theater to Virgil Earp. That sounds like something that happens after too much drinking at the saloon. A lot of people know about the OK Corral, where the famous shootout happened between the Earps and Doc Holliday versus the Cowboys. The place is allegedly haunted by the spirits of the Cowboys, who played stupid games and won stupid prizes. Boot Hill is notoriously haunted, being the final resting place of many lawless as well as average citizens of Tombstone. Visitors to the area have reported seeing lights, hearing disembodied voices, and capturing photos of full apparitions. I've been, it's pretty cool, especially towards the end of October. Like and follow for more. Get ready for creepy urban legends from Arizona. Let's get into my home state. Nestled in northwest Arizona near Kingman, Slaughterhouse Canyon leaves behind a strange tale from the 1800s. The name alone sounds like an old school giallo horror flick. Times were hard for the family that this story revolves around, and the father would leave for weeks at a time to try to be resourceful and feed and quote his family. Well, enter generic horror trope stage left. Yes, that would be correct. The father disappeared, leaving his family to starve. Visitors to Slaughterhouse Canyon have reported feeling the anguish that still permeates the air. And on evenings and nights where the air is still and thick, it's reported that you can still hear the screams of the kids and the mother as she made the decision to end their suffering. Like and follow for more.